Hi, Haysboro students. Happy Tuesday. Um, I hope you had a wonderful long weekend. The weather was absolutely beautiful, so I hope you spent some time outside. Uh, I was able to plant some flower pots with my girls, and we also planted a vegetable garden in uh, the beautiful garden box that they made me for Mother's Day. So I'm pretty excited to see um, if we have any vegetables that will grow for us this summer. Today's book is a book about your imagination. Um, and I read one to you called This is Sadie last week, also about your imagination. This one is called Inside My Imagination, and it's by Marta Artiga and Susanna Salej. The illustrations in this book are absolutely beautiful. One day I wrote a story, just like the ones mummy reads to me before I go to sleep, a story with lots of lovely words. One day when I was reading my story, I breathed in one of those words and something magical happened. I entered my imagination. It was an amazing paradise. There were unicorns, fairies, elves, and magicians. They appeared and disappeared whenever I wanted them to. My imagination is like a sea of thoughts that float and glide over each other. Droplets and bubbles contain my ideas that become real just by looking at them. They swim and swim, trying to solve the mysteries within me. They appear and disappear silently diving far, far away, until there, out on the horizon, are all of the answers, my answers. My imagination is like a land of clouds of different shapes. My imagination is like a meadow full of shooting stars. My imagination is like an enormous music box where I keep everything I see and hear. I can keep the sounds of the earth in the music box, the seas and the rivers, the crickets, the squirrels leaping through the trees, and the whisper of the wind in their leaves on those trees. The day I breathed in my story, I could see my imagination and how it worked inside my mind. The thinker of my imagination casts her net into the air and catches my ideas. The more I feed my ideas, the more ideas I have. The letters all fit perfectly into place. Then the words all hold each other's hands. And they cross the bridge of my imagination that connects my worlds, the internal and the external. And they are born just like I was. So another nice story about your imagination. What do you think it means? At one point in the story, she said, it feeds my imagination. What do you think it means to feed your imagination? Something to think about. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Good night.